Hello everyone, this is Faith from faithsbizacademy.com. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create binder rings using Canva. Let's get started. We are on Canva right now, and I'm going to start by creating a new design. On the top right hand corner, we have this button that says create a design. Click on it, and I'll be going for the US letter document. So you can either just type in uh, to search for one of the pre existing templates, or you can actually include your own dimensions as a custom size canvas. So for now, I'm just going to use US letter document. So now if you actually have the Canva Pro account, you can grab um, binder rings just from the left hand side menu under elements, you can search for binder rings. And here you actually have these pro elements that you can use. But in this video, I want to teach you how to actually create your own, where you can customize the look of it, the colors of it. And you know, so even if you don't have the Canva Pro account, you can start creating your own binder rings. So in order to get started, we're back on the left hand side menu under the elements section. We're going to lines and shape and we're going to find this like uh, this, like a donut, like half a donut. So let's just shrink it down and I'm going to zoom in because the binary ring is going to be quite small. So right like this and I'm really zooming, zooming in onto my page. So here we can keep it gray or we can just go to the color palette and basically choose any color that you like. Let's have this light pink. And now that we have this one, we're going back to the element section with a simple circle. So I'm just going to shrink down the circle. This is going to be like the shadow, okay, or rather the hole because imagine having an actual binder ring on your planner um there are holes punched onto the papers right so that the binder ring can go into that so we need to have that hole so make it black changing the transparency making it lighter and then positioning it backwards so like this so i'm going to shrink it down a bit more so this is actually the part where the binary ring goes into the digital page okay so here now you've got different types of binary rings we've got single-sided binary rings we've got double-sided binary rings where you have a mock-up you open up the two pages and you have the binary rings right in the middle so the one i'm creating right now is the single-sided binary ring so um, I want to make a duplicate of this little hoop and just twist it or rather turn it and then just overlapping with the first one so that my ring goes a little bit like a C shape instead of like a short N, all right? So we're going to have it a bit more curved like this. So this would be the first set of binder ring. And of course, I would need to make a lot more duplicates to have the entire set of binder ring done up. Okay, so like this, I'm going to click to drag and group it. And I'm going to click on this duplicate icon on the top right hand corner, or I can just press Ctrl D or Command D on my um, keyboard. Okay, so I'm just going to overlap them a little bit like this. Click and drag, Ctrl D or Command D to duplicate. And again, click and drag, Ctrl D or Command D to duplicate. And then I'm just going to uh, just do a little bit more like this and just shifting it down like this. Let's zoom out now. And now you can see the entire ring. We can also duplicate some more like this. Now we want to make sure that each ring is actually evenly spaced. Click and drag and go to position and space them out vertically. Okay. So now these, this set of binary rings is actually done. Look at that. It is so simple. So click and drag again. I'm going to group it together and I'm just going to test it out. I'm going to add a new page right here. On the left hand side menu, go to um, under elements still. I'm going to go to frames and try to find like a little, um, yeah, this one, like a book mock-up. Mock so let's just increase the size of it and clicking on this control c to copy control P v to paste and here we have it so i can just stretch it out make the binder bigger like this and then i can even um, go into my uploads try to find one of the planner pages that i have and to just drag it into this mock-up here like my wedding planner and just changing the color 
because I can actually change this, this grid, this frame, the color can actually be changed. So I can actually just play with that, something like that. So this is my wedding planner mock-up now that it it has this set of binary so that's really really easy so right here of course we want to have variations to our binary rings so i want to make different colors for binary rings. so here click on this one i'm going to duplicate the entire group right here now i'm going to ungroup this now that this is ungrouped i'm going to click and drag just so that i'm selecting the black circles only I'm going to group the black circles and I'm going to lock it. But make sure, sorry, before I lock it, I'm going to position it to the back and then lock it. Because then it's easier for me to just click and drag, highlight the pink rings, and then change the colors. Perhaps now I can have it as a dark gray. Uh, the dark gray probably doesn't look as nice. Maybe like this. And then once again, click to drag the whole thing and to copy it so that I have, whoops, let's try that again. Click to drag, duplicate it, shift things around like here. So now you see the circles weren't duplicated because they were locked. So let me try that again. But I had to lock it down so that it's easier for me to select just the binaries to change the colors of the binaries, okay? But now that the colors have been changed, what I want to do is I'm going to unlock and see if there are still, I'm just going to make sure that, okay, so this is all the circles are now unlocked. Click and drag and duplicate, and I should have the whole set of binary right here. So here, click to drag, group it, Control C to copy. I can make a duplicate of this page here, page two, duplicate right here, duplicate page to page three, deleting this set of binary and pasting my new set right here. So now it has um, the purple, the same purple shade that fits this planner. So it's really up to you to play with the colors. So if you don't like it like this, so there we have it. Okay, so that is the binary ring. And once again, I just wanna repeat the process so that you can see again how to change the binary rings, okay? So we've created the individual binary ring we have duplicated into one entire set we have duplicated a cop we have made a copy and changed the color so once again in order to change the color click and drag just the black circles because i do not want to change the color for the black circle locking it down click and drag to to see the purple rings and then i can change the colors like this there we go once again click and drag and make sure that i have to unlock this entire set of black circles click and drag group ctrl c to copy i can remove this delete that away and paste in my new binder ring right like this okay now the colors are just a bit clashy but you should see that we do have this set of binder ring right here and i can just increase the size or i can just shrink it down and then make it a duplicate of it like this something like this you know you can actually vary the look of your uh, binary rings as well now other than this single-sided binary ring i want to do the double-sided ones as well so what we need to do is we're going back to elements we are going to get this because this we have just used this element so now it's under recently used but if not you can always find it under lines and shapes again this one shrinking it down so we're going to do a double-sided ring which is going to be in the middle of two open pages okay so let's just shrink it down and position it here zooming it in so we can see clearly and getting the circles again click on the circle where's my circle click on it there it is and we need to shrink it down some more because now our binary ring is pretty small, right? So I'm going to make it into black. going to change the transparency right here, perhaps 70 like this, positioning it backwards and duplicating this black circle and positioning it right here, positioning it backwards as well. So now we have this. So just trying to get it right in the middle. Now this would be my first set of binary ring and I'm going to group it and I'm going to duplicate and click and drag and duplicate 
shifting it down click and drag duplicate so I'm duplicating it more each time okay so let's shifting it down like this so if that is enough let's just have two more rings right here and then you want to make sure that the rings are evenly spaced click and drag go to position and space them out evenly and now that they are all spaced out evenly group it so now this is my new set of double-sided binary so i'm just going to copy this let's just make sure i'm copying this Control c and here under my mock-up duplicating this page deleting this deleting the entire group I am now going to shrink down this mock-up and just putting it right here and duplicating it so that I have these two pages like this pasting it so now I put my binary ring right here shrinking it down so that it fits the page right like this and because this is a frame I'm going back to my uploads to find you know other planner pages and there we go so this is my mock-up this is my digital planner mock-up with a binary ring in the middle let me just zoom in so you see that that's the black holes because that is where the binary ring you know the holes we punched so that the binary ring actually goes through the pages okay so We've got single-sided binary rings and we've got double-sided ones. So similarly, if you want to create different variations, different colors, all you need to do is make a duplicate right here. Now we've got to ungroup all of them. Click to select just the black circles, lock it down. Click to select just the circles, lock it down. Click to highlight the rest of the binary rings and this is where we can change the colors. There we go. This is it. And of course, um, of course, you want to be able to save all these individual rings, right? So then this comes the tricky part. Okay, so if you're using, uh, of course, if you're using Canva free account, like what I've done is I have been creating the binary rings and then just copying and pasting them into different pages, or I can even copy it and paste it into a different project. Okay. But if you actually want to, let's say, sell these binary rings because you have actually created them, people do buy binary rings, right? So you can create different sets of colors of binary rings, single binder, single sided ones, double sided ones. And then what you want to do is to download them. But in this particular case, you go to share, you need to go to download and select PNG, but you have to have it as transparent background. Okay, let me just select just page one. So in this case, you would need to have the Canva Pro account version to download your images with transparent background. Let's just download this and let it run. Now, now you have, I've shown you basically how to create the single sided one and the double sided ones, but I also want to give you a bit more ideas. Okay. Now this is downloaded. Let's just take a quick look at it here. So you see the gray out, you know, this has been grayed out, right? So you would notice that. Okay. Now I can't really see it now. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Canva and I'm going to re upload the image that I've just saved. It should have transparent background. So let me just add on a new page right here, this little icon, add page. And going to find this one, this image. So all I need to do, change the background color, and there you go. No, that's not a good color. There you go. So these individual binary rings have transparent backgrounds. So all I need to do is I can crop it. And then after that, I can just use it on any page because this is now an individual PNG file. All right. So in order to save the binary rings with transparent background, you will need the pro account to go to download and select this transparent background feature only available to Canva Pro account users. So this could be um, a push for you to get the pro account version. Okay, so I was saying I want to show you one more way to create um, uh, to create the binary rings and let's go to elements and we're going to go, sorry, we're going to get out of lines and shapes and we're going to go to frames. So let's go to frames and what I want is a frame that will allow me to have binary rings that are more colorful, all right? Let's just look for something that's simple and long-ish uh, like this one. 
this one. So there is this faint outline here, which I'm going to change to white. And then that's it. So let's just rotate it around and shrink it downwards, make it small, zooming in so that we can still see it like this. Okay, and then similarly, we still need the black circles. Go back to element, click on the circle element, shrink down the circle right here, change the circle to black, positioning it backwards, shrinking down some more, adjusting the position of it like this, and making it more transparent, perhaps an 80. And duplicating it so that both sides have it so this would be a binary ring, set of binary rings for the double page planners now here because this is a grid what it allows me to do is to allow me to drag and drop uh, images into the grid so I'm gonna search for gradient and look at that I've got these lovely images with gradient colors so like this one I can just click and drag into it there we go so now this will be my new set of binary ring. group it duplicating it and duplicating it some more click and drag to duplicate click and drag highlight multiple elements and duplicate and if I'm happy with that I'm going to group everything and copy it and paste it right here, right here. So this is, oh no, this is a double page binder. So I probably want to do it here instead, getting rid of this one and pasting it right here. Now the orange is probably look a bit, going to look a bit clashy with the rest of the page. So like this, but you can see that it is, a double page binder ring and there we go let's just replace the images inside with some of the planners that I have or um, some coloring pages let's see let me grab something from what I have here let's just have some coloring pages right like this changing the color of the frame like this so this could be my mock-up for my coloring pages, coloring book, and this is actually a binary ring. And then it might look better if it's smaller. So let's duplicate that and shifting it downwards. Now, even if it's too long, not to worry, we can just ungroup it and delete those that we do not need, right? So there we go. Oops, just making sure I'm only selecting um, the rings. There we have it. So this is it. Okay. So using the grid, using the frame gives you a bit more room to play with the different colors that you can click and drag different images. If you have digital papers with, you know, beautiful designs, you can also click and drag into the frame so that you end up with very colorful binder rings. Okay. So that's it for now. Um, if you actually haven't watched my my video on how to create digital planners with hyperlinked tabs on Canva. Don't forget to check that out. And this one is definitely a good complimentary video because now you not only know how to create digital planners with hyperlinked tabs, you also know how to create binder rings, which go very well with digital planners as well as they will look really good when you're actually creating a mock-up like this. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will attend to your questions personally. We would really appreciate it if you could like the video, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to follow so that you will be updated whenever we have new tutorials added every week. Thank you so much for your attention. Once again, I'm Faith from faithbizacademy.com and I will see you around.